What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Eric, and this is Cypher TV. On today's video, or reaction, we're going to be reacting to Ronda Rousey demands an apology from Stephanie McMahon. I'm sticking with the whole WWE um reactions and uh i know i'm gonna get a lot of hate you know and whatever i welcome that so um i can continue blabbing but i'm ready to react to this so let's start the show acted out of savage instinct the way that she was trained Okay, and I completely understand that, but in order to get to her, I had to relate to her, I had to speak her language. I had to get physical with Ronda Rousey to remind her of the hierarchy here in WWE. Because I am the commissioner of Monday Night Raw, which means Kurt Angle okay. reports to me, which means as of last night, since Ronda Rousey did amongst the chaos sign her WWE contract, Rhonda now reports to me, which means WWE owns Rhonda Rousey. So now, okay. as, as a good manager, as a good boss, I just need to call everybody out here, explain their specific roles and responsibilities so everyone knows their place and we can move forward on the road to WrestleMania. And it all starts with an apology from Kurt Angle. So Kurt, come on out This is here. one thing with the WWE, they just, as soon as they start the show, they start to talk, 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 and I'm all for it, but at the same time, it's like, yo, let's get to the action, let's get to the whole thing. So, you know, hey, I understand Stephanie McMahon, she's trying to build up the anticipation, but come on, sometimes I get tired of it, all right? Oh this my is god. This is Ronda Rousey. And a very serious looking Ronda Rousey. We've seen that Whoa, run, 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 run. Hold up. Ronda. Ronda, stop. Just hear me out, Ronda. I just want to tell you just one thing. Listen, Ronda. <laughs> I want to tell you one thing. You coming to the WWE is the best decision you ever made. Kurt. I meant everything that I said last night. I want this more than anything. But I have never been slapped before in my life. Ooh. I refuse to be disrespected. <laughs> and I am no one's property. Now this is a completely different world than you're accustomed to. You need to work within the system. And Rhonda, honestly, I lied. I lied. What? I don't know why I lied. I misheard Stephanie Triple H talking about you, and I've had pneumonia for the past couple weeks. I don't even know what I said last night. But those statements I made, they weren't true. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you, Kurt, for finally clearing the air. I mean, Rhonda. We're not horrible people, in spite of what you might read on social media or hear in these arenas. I mean, and we understand why you did what you did, and, and now you understand that Kurt was lying. Thank you, Kurt, for apologizing. Oh, so Kurt. let's just put this all behind us and make you the superstar that you deserve to be. Okay? Thank you. Yeah. You know, right, we no. have addressed everything except your slap. 
If you want to put all of this behind us, you need to apologize to me. And if you don't apologize, I will not hesitate to rip your arm out of its socket. I am terribly sorry. I am so <laughs> terribly sorry, Rhonda. I'm so sorry. You put my husband through a table. I just, it was the wrong thing to do. There's no excuse. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please believe me, I'm sorry. Kurt, thank you. Rhonda, <laughs> well, welcome to WWE. Thank you. Yes, we're good. Okay, all good now. Oh, oh God. God! What the? I didn't see that coming. What was that for? Well. That was a very interesting segment. Um, well, one thing's for sure that Rhonda's gonna have to practice her um, being comfortable on the mic. You know, one thing about the WWE, you have to have the charisma, and a lot of them do have it, and a lot of them don't. But you know, if, if she's gonna be successful, in the WWE, which I have no doubt that she will be, um, she needs to learn how to handle the mic and uh, be very outspoken and just, you know, you could tell that she was, it was all scripted and, and she was just, you know, reading it, whatever. But um, my suggestion really for Rhonda would be put Paul Heyman with her. Brock has it. You know, Brock has him and, and he's doing fantastic. He doesn't even have to even talk, you know. So, hey, that's just a suggestion that possibly should happen, you know, because Paul Heyman is the, the god in terms of being on the mic. And he ramps up, amps up the, the crowd. But, um, yeah, you know. She has a future. Hopefully, hopefully, I mean, you know, you never know. Hopefully, she actually does very well. Like, remember Ken Shamrock? He was a UFC. Still is in UFC, I believe. And uh, he transitioned, transitioned into WWE. He did okay at the time. He was a champion. And, you know, and it just happened. So, again, you know, we'll see what happens. And, Think uh, about Ronda Rousey's debut in the WWE. What do you think? Is she going to be successful or not? Uh, let me know. Comment below. And um, as always, subscribe and I'll see you the next time. Peace.